What's up guys, we're back in Pro Tutorials today and we're gonna code um, tic-tac-toe on Hyten. So first of all, let's make a file. Uh, let's make a file, let's call it tic-tac-toe.py. Simple. So let's start off, okay? So to start off, of course, we're gonna have to make a board for the tic-tac-toe itself. So board equal um, this, yes. Let's give it some space and we're just gonna name it, uh, let's name it T1 to make it simple, right? T1. Yeah. Okay. Comma. T2. Sorry, sorry guys. I'm, I'm a bit new to coding, but um, yeah. We're getting there. I, I just want to show you guys some games I know how to code. So yeah. After that. Now after this, we have to make, because TikTok is like nine tiles, right? So we're gonna name this T1, T2, T3. How you place a code for the next line. But we're gonna name it M1, M2, M3. Sorry. M2, M3. And the third row is gonna be called D1, D2, and D3. Okay, that's it for now. Let's close it off with a bracket, okay? That's a board. So now it's simple. We're just gonna start with player equal one. So we can initiate Initialize the first player of the game. And we can do total underscore moves equals zero. This is just to count. It's a counter so we can count the number of moves each player has. And the end underscore check. Yeah, so it ends moves. Then, of course, we have to define what check is, right? So we just make it this code first. Define check. Simple. Okay, define check. Um, so, so this is so we can check the moves of the first player and for horizontal starting. Okay, so let's start. If board... Mm, if board T1, like if if he chooses the first the first tile, then uh, X because X player one is gonna be X right, and board T2 um, equal T2 equal equal X, and board sorry give me a moment I'm just gonna copy paste this so it's a bit easier because we just need to change it to basically. See. And board T3 equal board T3 equal equal X simple. Um, print player one one. This is the conditions for if the, if they win. So it's gonna be first turn one. Nah. If the second row is all X's, then player one player one one again. Then we just have to change this. It's very simple. Player M1, M2, and M3. Okay. Player one one. What else? Oh, and if it's a row again, if it's a row for um for for the if the third row is all X's, then of course player one wins. Because conditions for tic tac toe is if it's all row or diagonal or or column, it's the same. If it's the same um, character, then one player wins. Okay, so that's it, right? Row row row. Now we're gonna do it if it's um if it's diagonal, then uh if if board, wait, let me just compare this first. If board T1 and board M2, because it's the middle, it's the middle one, and um, and board D3 is equal to X and player one one. Simple, right? Then um, T1 and one D1. Oh, and I guess uh, D1 M2. Oh, and also now if we do um. If we, if it's it's diagonal like this, right? But if it's diagonal like this, then okay, we just have to make it like this first. Give me a moment. If board T3, uh, M2, and D1, yeah, then it's, it's this one, it's the diagonals, row, row, row. So now we just have to work on the, um, we just have to work on the columns. So it's simple. So uh, let me just add a comment here so it's easier for you guys. This is row, rows, this is hashtag. Um, diagonals, simple, and this is hashtag, um, what do you call it, columns, yes. Okay, now for columns, so we're just gonna copy paste this code so it's easier. If column T1, M1, and D1 is equal to X, M T1, M1, M1 and D1, yes, T1, M1, D1. 
is equal to x and d1, then um, what else? Now the middle column, the second column, p2, m2, and d2 is equal to x, then player 1, 1. Simple. Now for the third one, um, if the third column, like um, t3, m3, and d3 is equal to x, because it's the third column, right? Then player 1, 1. Okay, that's all conditions for player 1 winning, right? Now we have to um, check for the player 2 moves, right? Actually, now player 2 moves. It's basically the same, but um, the same code, but um, now it's just the same conditions, but um, hashtag, I'm just gonna, you guys already know what this is, right? So I'm just gonna do like hashtag player 2. Simple. Then um, copy paste all this. We just have to replace X with O, because you know, um, player 2 uses O as their character. So, let me check player 2, player 2, I see, okay. So here, if player, so we just need to replace all this with O. Wait, let me just do like capital O, yeah, that's easier. About O. Oh, should I do? Yeah, let's see. Or should I do zero? No, O is easier. O, O, O. In fact, I'm just gonna paste this, it's easier for me to do this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I'm this, we're almost done. I'm trying to make this video 10 minutes, but I don't know if we're gonna make it that short. Let's just hope that we, we reach it 10 minutes. Okay, let's go down. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we, oh, 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 one, two, three. So we finished the conditions for the rows and the, col and the diagonals. Now we just have to finish for the, for the, what we call it, the columns, yeah. Yep, almost done. Okay. Oh, and we also have to replace player two, one, of course. Make this player two. Player two, one. Yeah. So it's very simple. Very simple. This is the conditions for if um, player two, one, player one, one, okay. Then we're done with that. Now we're gonna do some more code. Okay. Okay. Now, of course, that's the code, right? But now we have to print so the player, so it, it actually shows the tic-tac-toe board, so the players can actually know w which tile they should put for the condition. So give me a woman. T1. So they, so they know which, which tile they are supposed to put that board in, right? T2. T3. Okay. And, and I guess we just copy-paste this, so it's simpler for me. T3, M1, M2, M3. No, we just have to give some space in, so it's easier for you, for you guys. So, yeah, we're just gonna do minus and pluses for, to make it easier. We're almost done, guys. Please bear with me. Don't, don't, watch till the end to find out how to finish this code, please. I really rely on this video to make money. M1, M2, M3, simple. And for, this is just a separate row, so we just take this. Then, um, the last row is just this, D1, D2, D3, of course, as we showed in the first line. And the last one, um, honestly, we can just uh, take that, take this, now we just do like stars, no, just like a lot of them. So just so there's like a border, so, they, so it differentiates the board from the actual tile, so it plays with the Okay, that's enough stars. Now, these are the conditions, so um, the game actually works, let's do this. Let's make a loop while true. Print. Print the board, of course. Print board TI. Plus, sorry, we need some spacing for this one. Plus this. Uh, plus board. So every time they they click the like the they decide which which tile they want to put the X or O in. It just reprints it and then it shows the tile. It just prints the tile. It's very simple. Give me a moment, okay, guys? Plus one, plus board, uh, T2. Okay. Give me a moment, guys. Plus, okay, this is, I know this is a bit difficult, but yeah. I'll link my code in the in the description below, but uh, yeah. I'll link, it on, I'll link it to my Google Drive, but yeah. Let me just finish this first, guys. Plus board T3. Yeah. Okay. So what do you think guys? 
Yeah, this looks right, yeah. Then, of course, we have to print the, the thing, right? The thing we did earlier. Print, just so it separates the thing. This is, this, this is a bit annoying, so uh, yeah. But just bear with me. Bear with me, guys. Don't, don't quit the video, please. Okay, that's so, just so we can differentiate the thing. Now, now, oh, okay, now it's the easier part. So we just take this, since we already ingested our time in that, change T to M. M to T. Then, to differentiate that, we just have this. T plus minus one. Oh, shoot, sorry, my bad. Uh, yeah, that's very correct. And the last row, uh, print, there. Print D1, D2, and D3. And then for the, N check equal check, simple. N underscore check equal check. There, simple. Now this is the condition. If total underscore moves equal equal zero, because there's because if it's equal to if there's already nine moves being dealt, that means the game is over. There, there's no more moves. Or n underscore check is equal to one, or one of the player wins. So if it's if total moves equal nine, then it's a draw. If it's equal to one, then it's, then someone wins. Break the game. So sad. Let's finish. Um, now, while this is true, this is the input from players, right? So the players can input their um, things. So I'm just gonna code this first. PL underscore input. This is player one's input, right? Uh, no things, I'll do it there. Equal input player one. So player one knows that it's his job to input this one. Uh, give me a moment, guys. Wait, I'm, I'm putting this one. Okay, that looks fine. PL underscore input. Okay, if PL underscore input dot upper. So so it doesn't matter if it's if the input like tap it's lock or small. But as long as the input character is fine. In board and board PL underscore input dot upper equal sorry e equal equal. Sorry, sorry, guys, my bad, my bad. I, I didn't check this. This should be this. I forgot to close it. Okay. There. That's fine, yeah, okay. Player, give me a moment, guys. I'm almost done. Actually, you know what? Let me just put a small gap there. Yeah, it should be easier. It's okay. Okay, yeah, and, and I'll just give some space for that one. Yeah, let's just, yeah, let's just, synth let's, syntax has to be correct. It's, it's important. X player equal to break. However, if they input wrong, then just then, yeah, just tell them to input it, input it something again. Invalid input. Please try again. Then yeah, continue. Continue the code. Simple. Else, this is for player two now. Player two underscore input equal input. Player two. Player two. Um. Sorry, let me just close this first. Close it. Yeah, okay, that's it. If the player two's input, let me just put this first. Dot upper and board and and board p two underscore input dot upper. Equal equal same. Go in, close that first, then yeah, of course, syntax correct, yeah, uh, give me a moment, okay, there, board, p2, underscore, input, dot, upper, close, s, equal, yeah, so they, they know which one to input, they just have to input, oh, 
simple. Player, sorry, capital. It's, it's, it's a no. Yeah. Okay. O, yeah. Player equal one. Great. Else, yeah, again, if they input the wrong thing, on wrong input, we just tell them to type it again. Give me one. Else, print invalid input. Please try again. Yep. Continue the code. Continue. Simple. Wait, something's wrong. Oh, oh, sorry. This should be here. Yeah, that's fine. No, this has to be here. Total underscore moves. Is this? Yeah, it's in the while tree. What color underscore moves plus equal one? Print. Sorry, let me just grab the code from here. Print that. Yeah. And then print. There. Now let's run the code. Hopefully this will work. Okay guys, we're back on the video and I think I found out what the problem was. So just now I, on the break I just I just put a space between this. That's all. So let's just put a space more here. Okay. Okay, let's try running it, okay? This should this should be smooth right now. So let me just trash this thing first. Let's re we speed run. Yes! Wait, give me a moment. Something's wrong guys. Give me a moment. So I think that's all. Yeah. Let's run it now. Okay. Let's run it now. Okay, let me just trash this first and let's rerun this again. There, there, it works. T1, it then puts it there. Oh, actually, you know what? You know what, guys? Let's just leave it like this. Sorry. Oh my god. There. Let me see if I can do it. Okay guys, we're back from the break now, and now we're gonna run the code, sorry. That code actually worked, but I, but I, I didn't know how to use it. Let me just run it again. Okay, player one, I'm player one, okay? Let's just want, let's just make it so player one wins, T1. Okay, put the X there. Okay, so we want player one to win, so let's just put player two's circle there. Then player one, um, of course, I'm trying to make a row, right? So let me just make it a little T2. Then player two, yeah. He's also trying to win, so he does M2. And player 3, player 1, T3. Boom, player 1 wins. And Hi guys, we're back on tutorials. Sorry, we're not out yet. So um, apparently some people were complaining that it wasn't graphically pleasing. So to solve this issue, all you do is like, you just put like, these uh, two dots in front of player 1. So there's space for the players to input what tile they want to put their X or their O's in. So let's write it again. Let's write it again, guys. Yeah. Let's say player one, I want you to make it, see now, see now it's more graphically pleasing. They, they have space to put their tiles in, so T1, and it works, see. And to prove it, that, that it actually works, uh, let me just make it random, see, it works, right? And so that, um, to prove that it actually works if someone wins, let's see, let, me just, let me just make it like T2, T okay. And player one makes gets um, M1, um, then, Player two gets, um, of course, he wants M two. Then uh, player one wants T. Um, was it D one? Okay, let me check. D one. Yeah, it was D one. See, so of course our code works. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe.